hello there welcome to this tutorial the topic is systems of linear equations and the method is Kramer's rule my name is Abdurrahman Omar please subscribe to our YouTube channel as owning our resources and like this video thank you now use Kramer's rule to solve these systems of equations a 5x plus 3y is equal to negative 7 and negative 3x minus 4y is equal to 2 b 2x plus y is equal to 2 and 6x minus 4y is equal to negative 1 now we start with the a part of the problem we have a pair of equations there now we collect the coefficients and form the coefficient matrix so these are the coefficients here we use this to form the coefficient matrix so we form the coefficient matrix name it as delta we are going to create another matrix call it delta x in this matrix the first column is the collection of coefficients of x while the second column is the collection of coefficients of y so to generate another matrix which is delta x is going to be the coefficient of x shall be replaced with the column matrix of the constant so here first column will be this the first column of the delta x matrix that is the x matrix will be replaced with this constant so we have it as negative 7 and 2 then the second column will still be maintained we now create the third matrix which is the delta y matrix in this case also we are going to replace the coefficient of y by the constant column so we maintain the first column and the second column will be the constant column so we have the delta y matrix that is the y matrix this is the x matrix and this is the coefficient matrix so we go ahead to find their determinant so to find the determinant of delta we are going to have it as 5 times negative 4 which is negative 20 minus negative 3 times 3 will give us negative 9 so from here negative times negative will give us positive so it will becomes negative 20 plus 9 and that will give us negative 11 then here we find the determinant of delta x matrix negative 7 times negative 4 will give us 28 so we have 28 minus 2 times 3 gives 6 we have it as 6 so 28 minus 6 will give us 22 that represent the determinant of delta x matrix then we go to the determinant of delta y matrix again we have 5 times 2 gives 10 minus negative 3 times negative 7 gives 21 so we have 10 minus 21 giving us negative 11 so we now use these determinants to find the values of x and y so to get the value of x it is determinant of delta x divided by the determinant of delta which is going to give us 22 divided by negative 11 and that gives negative 2 so x is equal to negative 2 then to get y it is the determinant of delta y divided by the determinant of the delta so we now have negative 11 divided by negative 11 which gives 1 so we have done justice to this first problem 
finding the values of x and y to be negative 2 and 1 respectively so we go to problem b in this problem again we are going to form um the coefficient matrix the x matrix and the y matrix here the coefficient matrix gets its elements from the coefficients of the variables so we have uh, as delta equal to 2 1 6 negative 4 2 1 6 negative 4 and delta x matrix again we remove the column of the coefficient of x and replace it with the constant column so we have the first column to be the collection of 2 and negative 1 and we still maintain our second column which is 1 negative 4 so for delta y matrix again we maintain the first column and replace the second column which is the column of the coefficient of y with the constant column that's 2 negative 1 we have formed our three matrices so we go ahead to find their determinants so the determinant of delta is 2 times negative 4 gives negative 8 minus 6 times 1 gives 6 so we have negative 8 minus 6 which gives negative 14 then the determinant of delta x 2 times negative 4 gives negative 8 minus negative 1 times 1 gives negative 1 so negative times negative gives positive so negative 8 plus 1 gives negative 7 and the determinant of delta y so we have 2 times negative 1 gives negative 2 minus 6 times 2 gives 12 so we have negative 2 minus 12 which gives negative 14 so it gives negative 14 then we now go ahead to find the values of x and y so to get the value of x it is the determinant of delta x divided by the determinant of delta that gives negative 7 divided by negative 14 and that gives 1 over 2 that gives 1 over 2 because 7 negative will go with negative 7 into 7 gives 1 7 into 14 gives 2 so for y we have a determinant of delta y over determinant of delta which gives negative 14 over negative 14 and that gives 1 so we have found the values of x and y so we've completed the solution of these systems of equations. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Oninab Resources, and like this video. Thanks for watching this video. Goodbye for now.